So you've got your anything running locally on your computer and it works great. The only issue is that you are stuck on localhost. That means that you can't access your workflows from anywhere and external services like Telegram and Slack cannot send data to your workflows unless you set up a hosted server or do some complicated networking. In this video, I will show you the cheapest way possible to host your local Anything instance so you can access it from anywhere in the world. We will first buy a domain for $1 Connect it to Cloudflare for free and then create a tunnel that will securely point to your own local Anything instance. That way you can still run Anything locally at a real HTTPS address. So you will never get this error again. And this is going to be perfect for testing your webhooks or simply having your automation hub follow you anywhere you want. So with that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so the way that you locally host your Anything instance inside of your machine is basically by having your machine and then you're gonna run a Docker inside of it and Anything is going to run inside of that Docker through the local host. So this is when you go to your Anything instance and then you are going to run it from a container. I made a video about that so you can go back and watch it if you've never done it before. And you then go to local host workflows and then you log in and you're in. So what we want to do is that we want to do that inside of our machine and then we want to create a tunnel and we want that instance to communicate with that Docker that we have inside of our machine. So we will go to www.something that, you know, online that xyz.com does not matter. This is the domain that we will buy. And then through that Cloudflare tunnel, we will access the local host that we have here through this website. So the website will be linked to the local host and through that we will have access to our instance in the web. So from whenever you want to access it, either from your work laptop, if you want to give access to someone else to develop the workflows or through your mobile or whatever you want it basically. When I do that, because of two reasons. The first one is, as we said, access your Anything instance from everywhere. And the second reason is integrations, for example, Telegram, Google services like Sheets, Calendar, etc. And of course, other integrations. And these integrations will only work if you have a webhook that starts with an HTTPS and they cannot have access to your local host because your local host is not discoverable. So that is just basically not possible. All right, so now let's actually go ahead and do it. Now, I've seen a lot of people do it in different ways, but I think the easiest way to do everything is going to be through the CMD. So we are going to be running commands inside of the CMD. Please do not get scared or think that it's so complicated. I'm going to leave all the commands in the description below copy and paste the commands and i will explain everything along the way it's very easy to do it's not really that technical all right so the first thing that we need to do is get that url that domain url which is going to be the part where we are going to be paying something let's get that out of the way let's go to name cheap create an account really easily and then look for any kind of domain let's look for my side project that online okay so here my site projects that online, as you can see here, it's for less than one euro. So let's add this to cart. We are going to be paying 1.01 euro. So literally we're going to pay one euro. If you're in the US or somewhere where you need to pay in dollars, it is going to be equivalent to this. So it should not be very expensive. So let's go to checkout. Once you're here, just keep the domain privacy enabled. You don't need to change anything else, literally. So just go to a confirm order. Once you confirm the order, log into your account, put your details in here, and then click on continue. And now we are going to pay the $1.18. And once you're finished, go to your account that you've already created, and then go to domain list. And here you will find the new domain that you have just bought. So I am the proud owner of my site project that online so let's go ahead and click on manage and now we are going to go to cloudflare so look for cloudflare go to cloudflare and then here either connect or log in if you already have an account or create a new one if you don't once you're in you are going to be greeted with this page in here so go and get your domain that you have just bought copy it and then come back here and then paste it and then just keep this as it is click on continue select this plan the free one so here, if you find records, we found zero. This is totally normal. Just go to continue to activation. Click on here, click on continue, and then get these two values that you can see in here. Copy the first one, go back to the domain, and then click on the name servers, go to custom DNS, paste the first one, come back here, copy the second one, and basically do the same. Click on confirm, and that is basically it. Now we need to wait a little bit before these configurations are going to take effect. This is where our domain is going to be linked to Cloudflare. So here, let's just click on continue. 
Now, obviously, this can take up to 24 hours, but it can be instant as well. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to go ahead and go to the next step. So we just bought the domain. We have added the domain to Cloudflare. And now we need to create the tunnel and set up the Docker container. So to be organized in what we're doing, let's just go back here and map out the steps that we need to do. So buy the domain. We've already done that. That's done. Add the domain to Cloudflare. That's also done. Install Cloudflare and create tunnel. For we need to route the tunnel and then the last step will be configure the Docker container. This way we know exactly what we are doing and we basically have already done these two steps and now we are going to go to the third step. All right, so now that everything is clear, let's go ahead and actually do it. So the first thing that we are going to start with is going to be this command here. And please guys, this is the easiest way to do it. If you're gonna go through the Cloudflare website, you have to give the credit card details, even though that it's going to be for free. So even though that you're not gonna pay anything, but you have still have to configure payment. This way you don't have to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing that we need to do is we need to get Cloudflare in the first place. So wing it, install. I'm going to try to keep the commands for Mac users as well, but this is going to be for Windows. So wing it, install Cloudflare, that Cloudflare. I already have it. Of course, it's going to say that it tried to install it, but it's already there. The next thing that we need to do is log into Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and do that. So Cloudflare login, sorry, Cloudflare login. It is going to open this. It's going to give you this page and it's going to show you the domain that you have just bought. So here, let's click here. Let's click on the authorized tunnel and let's click on authorized. Okay, that's good. If it says namespace invalid in here in the status, don't worry about it. Just basically do the same thing. Try to authorize it. If it still does not work, just wait between 10 and 30 minutes. Worst case scenario is 24 hours, but mostly it's not the case. In my experience, it should work after 30 minutes. So let's go back here. So as you can see here, it's have created a, an authorization for it. Now, what we need to do is to create the tunnel itself. And to create the tunnel, we need to run the command cloud flared tunnel create. Let's call it home tunnel. Okay. So it has been able to create the tunnel and it gives us an ID. I want you to copy this ID and keep it somewhere because it's very important for when it's going to after that. So copy this ID in here, go to any notepad and just paste it in here and keep it in here because that's going to be very important for the rest of this video. Now we need to route the tunnel into our domain. Again, cloud flared tunnel route DNS home tunnel, the DNS of our home tunnel to a subdomain because we don't want our whole domain to point to anything. We want basically just want a subdomain to point to it. We want to keep that domain clean. And if we want to use it to other purposes, you can always do that. But for our anything instance, let would have anything dot my site project that's online. And that's basically going to be the routing. That's going to be the subdomain that will help us to go to anything. As you can see here, I've already done that before. So it's saying no. Okay, I'm going to try that again. So I have deleted it and now it should basically work. And I just want to show you how it should look like. So as you can see here, it will say my home tunnel will tunnel me into the NATN my site project online. Now, the last thing that we need to do on Cloudflare is going to be creating the configuration YAML file. So to do that, go to users. So C users administrator and then you're going to find does cloud flared in here click on it and here click on new and basically create a new text file and name it config dot yml this is basically our yaml file so let's open it and then we are going to paste this and as i told you before you need to keep this id in here paste it inside of the tunnel and then paste it again perfect and now you need to put the right uh, name of the username in my case it's this and in your case just go back here and look at this name that comes after users where you created the cloudflare and this is what you should put inside of here so let's go ahead and save this and as you can see here the host name will be the nhn my site project online to your local port in our case it's going to be 5678 that is perfect all right so now we have finished installing cloudflare and creating the tunnel we have finished routing the tunnel as well all we need to do is to configure and launch the docker container in order for our tunnel to take us to the local instance that we have here so let's go back to our users folder inside of here let's create a new folder let's call it nhn online let's go inside of this folder let's create a new file called docker compose 
docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.docker.doc